Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. This is part two of my tutorial showing how to make a vintage circus poster. Picking up from where we left off, open your type tool and choose a font. I'm using Carnivali Freak Show, which you can download at thefont.com. If you're not sure how to install fonts, watch my tutorial on how to do this. I provided the link in the video's description. For this font, I'll choose a point size of 152, sharp, and center text. Click on the color box and type in 1E263E. Then click OK. Type out your text. Click on the warped text icon and choose arch. Make it horizontal with a bend of 24%. Then click OK. To reposition it, open your Move tool, click on the text, and move it up or down until it fits in with the bend of the shape above it. If it's not perfectly centered, don't be concerned for now. I'll show you how to center all of the text on your document at the end of the tutorial. Click on the FX button and choose Stroke. Make the size 3 pixels, the position outside, the blend mode normal, and the opacity 100%. Click on the color box and type in FCF5A5. Then click OK. Click Drop Shadow. Make the blend mode multiply the color is black and the opacity is 40 percent. Make the angle 138 degrees and check global light. The distance is 21 pixels, the spread is 0 and the size is 10 pixels. Then click OK. Control click or command click on the thumbnail of your text to make a selection of its shape. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. Press the letter I on your keyboard to open your eyedropper tool and click on the red flag to pick up its color. Open your brush tool, pick a large brush size and a hardness of zero. Now brush over the top of your text. Make the blend mode dissolve. Press Ctrl or Command D to delete the selection. Go to your text layer and shift click on it to highlight it. Now both layers are active. Drag them down below the top paper texture. Click on the layer of the top part of your text. Click on the lower center of your document. We'll type in the word circus but we'll use a larger point size. Type in 320 points and type in circus. Click on the text warped icon and as before choose arch. This time the bend will be minus 12 percent. Open your move tool to reposition it. We'll copy the effects from your other text to the word circus. To do this, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag a copy of the effects to circus. Double click on stroke and change the size to 10 pixels. Click on the color box and type in F7E1A2. Then click OK. Click on Drop Shadow and change the distance to 30 pixels. Then click OK. We'll add the same red color effect as we did with the top line. As before, control click or command click on the text to make a selection of its shape, make a new layer, open your brush tool, and this time 
Choose a larger brush size since the text is larger. Brush over the top of the text and as before change the blend mode to dissolve. Then delete the selection. Next we'll add a tagline to this area. Press T to open your type tool and click down on your document. This time I'm using a font called Magical Dreams Regular. You can download it from abstractfonts.com. I'll make the point size 33 and for the color click on the green of the tent then click OK. Go to Window and choose Character. I'll click on the small caps icon and type out my tagline. This particular font doesn't have lowercase characters but by clicking on the small caps icon when you type out lowercase letters it makes the caps into smaller point sizes. Click on the text warped icon, choose arch and a bend of 17%. Copy the text effects to your tagline and double click on stroke. Click the color box and type in F4F1C8. Change the size to 6 pixels. Click Drop Shadow, make the distance 14 pixels and the size 6 pixels. Close the text panels. Let's center all the text on the poster. With the tagline layer active, scroll down to the bottom text layer in your layers panel and shift click on it which makes all of your text layers active. Press Control or Command A, make sure your Move tool is selected and click on the Align Vertical Centers icon. Then delete the selection. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.